Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Sorry, I didn't even have the music on that whole time you guys were waiting. <clears throat> and let me fix my camera. Voila. What's up, guys? All right. Yeah, I forgot to turn the uh the good old music on. Cuz uh the position that it sits is like down like two blocks and I I didn't scroll down to make sure that if it was on or off. Game's loading right now, guys. That's why there's a a black screen. We're just waiting. Load. Oh, we'll be doing some State of the K2 after this. Uh. Hey, you're not lying there, Dracos. You're definitely not lying there, man. <laughs> oh, so how was everybody's day today? Mine was uh, pretty uh, eventful. I got my merch store set up. Yeah, that's what we're gonna. It's one of the things we're gonna talk about. Um, it hasn't been approved on the YouTube. Still reviewing all of my clothing, but the uh, store has been started. All right, you guys got game sound, right? Oh yeah, uh, recorder. I play with uh. I play with the viewers uh, all the time. We do different events um, and stuff like that. But yeah, we do do uh, some multiplayer here for sure. Not as much as we used to, but we definitely we definitely still do a lot of uh, multiplayer. All right, so we got game sound. We are good to go. All right, everybody. So before we get started, I finally, uh, because I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, YouTube has given me the ability to open a merch store for the channel. Um, soon it will be on the channel. At the bottom of every video, you'll see the little merch. It'll show like the, the different products. Um, but right now, until that YouTube goes ahead and puts that on there, there's a link in the description that will bring you right to the merch store. Right now, we got our channel logo um merch and we have our boot gang merch so if you guys want to go check that stuff out um help support the channel you guys can go over there and order whatever you want um we will be adding more stuff as time goes on you know and we'll have different seasonal things limited edition things tons of uh cool uh merch that we will have for you guys so that is something you guys are interested in make sure you guys check it out All right, Keith. Hey, no problem, dude. All right, so um, we are continuing with our playthrough as Casper. Last episode, um, things got a little shaky, guys. We had a fishing accident again, um, but we didn't die. I think our next... Uh, Merch item is going to be uh, Project Zomboid Fishing Accident t-shirts. But we survived the attack from the zombie. Uh, we did get an infection. It was just a regular infection, not like a zombification infection. Um, but we were able to keep the wound clean. And uh... yeah, I know Dracos. Thank you so much, dude. I ordered a bunch of my own merch, too. Um, Cause you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be rocking it. So here we go. Let's let's just get right into this. Now um we do got to take our food situation serious. Um we don't have very much food. 
So this is still bandaged. Um, actually, might head out, try to do a little more fishing. We still have not caught anything, um, but I know in the wintertime, fishing is a lot more scarce. Let's see. Uh, we'll fill our water really quick. Yep, we were able to get a fire built. We ate good last night. Um, we had some ramen, curry ramen. So we just got to be careful because this fog is nothing to mess with. All right, so I'm going to stand somewhat in the open so we don't have to worry about being snuck up on. I wish we had got the keen hearing trait. Yeah, Dicky boy, that shit, it, it can get rough, man. Especially when you're on a roll and things are going so good. All right, so we'll probably speed up time a little bit. Gotta pay attention, guys. This ain't the. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess around. Box getting thicker. And then we're gonna go do a little bit of foraging after this. If we can get our hands on like a fishing pole, we'd probably be so much better off. But that's all we got for right now. So, um, at some point, we may have to push north and uh, check out those buildings that are north. I don't know exactly what they are. We didn't get. The, we didn't make it there last time. Uh, Carol was killed. But we know to the west, um, that huge city we started in is over there. So many zombies. There are so many zombies. That's definitely not going to be able somewhere we're going to be able to mess with for a very long time. Alright. So we fished it up. Really didn't find much of anything. Um, let's see if we can get some foraging done. Trees are wicked thick over here, too. Now, the cool thing is about this game, just keep listening for audio, and um, you'll be able to hear the zombies. Brian Stevenson, dude. Hey, man, I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is on Steam. Um, it's really cheap, too. It's only like 15 bucks. Italio, how are you? Hey, right, go, go, go. Dog's about to take down the green screen, guys. 
Let's see the trees moving. The wind moves the trees and so do zombies, so you gotta be careful. So what have we found so far? We found some grass, which, you know, that's that's breakfast right there. Um, and we found a stone. So, so far our foraging trip is not really uh, paying off too well. Now we're finding a bunch of stuff. No food though, except grass. Um, we were able to get our hands on a new, another tree branch, so that's cool. But again, uh, our main issue is food, guys. We got Casper over here eating uh, grass on a daily basis. Uh, he's huge, Guru. He's insane. So we got the house a little fortified, just a little bit, nothing crazy. Um, but we do need to try to make some moves right now for some food, big time. Clean these rags off. Uh, I'm going to keep a couple on me. Hey, zombie. Get off my window, please. Come on this way. Couldn't just have food on you. There's another zombie, actually. Oh, that was close. See, I hate when the damn thing starts doing this. Every time I go to right click, it just does that and doesn't bring my weapon up. I don't know how to fix Does anybody know how to fix that? It's that zombie over there. That was close. Somebody else banging on my door? I need to chop these two little trees down right here.
Maybe on the front side here. Um, because when their bodies um start, oh, I think it might be actually inside there. When their bodies um deteriorate after being on the ground for a while, they uh their clothes and shit deteriorate with them. Oh wow, hey. But um, if you take everything off of them, it just stays on the ground. Where were the nails? I just seen nails. There they are. Bring them back to base. Yep. Zombies is getting hung up in here. Cleaned up around the base a little bit. Uh, my opinion about the Royal Marines. Them dudes are awesome. I served with a whole bunch of uh, Marines when I was in uh, Afghanistan. Them dudes are pretty awesome. Uh, see, all right, you see how their bodies are starting to um, deteriorate? Um, if their clothes were on them, the clothes would no longer be usable. Yeah, the Royal Marines are, they're, they're, they're savage. Just, these guys are badass. Alright, um, let's grab our scrap wood. Um, no, Giovanna. From what I'm tracking, in the wintertime, you cannot farm. Uh, crops don't grow. Now, there might be certain crops, because I know there, in real life, there are, like, winter... Right there, there's, like, winter crops, like, things that will grow in the winter. But I don't know how extensive the game is with that type of stuff, so... Um, I can't give you a 100% definitive answer on how that works. Chipstone. So our resources are pretty good, like crafting wise. We're doing pretty damn good. Um, we'll just throw those in there too. It doesn't matter. And this is all edible. All this grass that we got. So our issue right now that we're having is going to be getting Casper to gain weight. Uh, we are extremely underweight. And I'm pretty sure that eating all this grass is not helping. All right, so let's clean our bandage off. Wash ourselves, make sure we uh, stay nice and clean. We don't want to get the uh, the good old zombieitis. And I think, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I just feel like us keeping ourselves clean and our clothes clean um, will help us uh, when it comes to like, getting infection. Here's a zombie. All right, so let's uh let's go grab another spear and let's do a little bit more fishing. Like I said today was gonna be a pretty uneventful quest. Oh, 
yeah, I forgot you can grow crops inside. Um, we need a sack though, because we gotta grab the dirt and bring it in. GG. Um, Dark Tower might have just saved, but we gotta find a sack. I wonder if there's a way to craft one. Let me see. Let's see if there's a way to craft one. Um, I don't know if maybe with Hydrocraft or Primitive Survival, if there's a way to craft a sack. Yep, we're here. Really? <laughs> so we need sheets. And tailoring. We don't have level one tailoring. So we're back to square one. Um, we can go check next door. I don't know if... Uh, let's make sure we don't have one. I'm pretty sure we don't, though. If I had tailoring, we'd be able to craft one for sure. Um, we could check back next door too, but let's go fish first and we'll check that later on. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to go north. It's the only place that I know there's buildings that are not, um, we're just going to have to take our time. It, you know, we'll probably kill a couple zombies a day or something like that. You know what I mean? Where... What the mistake we made with Carol is we took, you know, there was like six or seven zombies and we just kept trying to fight them all. What? Yeah, I'm, can you grab it out there? No, sir. Is that somebody banging on my property again? Or music? I think we're gonna get lucky, guys. I'd be happy to catch anything. go to a nine o'clock and then we'll be done really dark holy crap I'll tell you this the fishing abundance is gonna uh wow it's getting so dark all right nine o'clock let's head back I took my lighter off me Shit. Um. Okay, I can see the roof. I was like, oh my god, I, I, it's so dark. I, I'm going to get lost on my way back home. Why did we take our lighter off? Let's head to bed. Wake up in the morning. We're back at it again. Oh. Hey, man, that water. The, what the water did to me is it, it hasn't given me any fish. Nothing. Like, I've literally gotten nothing. Casper, look at your beard starting to grow, dude. You no longer have that cool, like, chin strap, dude. Now you actually have, like, a beard coming.
Well, uh, let me see. Where's the bathroom? I think we got a razor in one, in one of these, right? All right. Let me see. I think with a razor, you can shave your beard off. Yep. Like, this is how in-depth this game is, guys. Boom. Cast, we got you back. Clean shaven, dude. I know you were really worried about it. So I made sure I took care of you, bud. Alright, water is almost freaking empty. Yeah, I, right now, I don't think depression has any, like, major downsides. Um, so, yeah, I'm not so worried about it. I watched uh, Private Lime just playing, and he was the most depressed, and nothing ever came of it. So, we're just going to sit here and eat grass. So we got how many spears? We got two spears on us. We have our pipe wrench, which isn't looking too hot. So you know what I might do? Let's, we have a stone hammer somewhere, right? I'm going to grab a stone hammer. That's going to be at a secondary melee weapon we're going to bring with us. I swear I had a stone hammer somewhere. Right, let's craft. Can I craft one? Oh, no, no, no. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a quarter staff. Yep. Make a quarter staff. Those things are awesome. They don't have the same one hit potential. Um, but, yeah. Survive most of the winter off worms. Ooh. Uh, for the most... Well... When you're agitated and you have the smoker trait and you don't smoke, it can mess up your sleep um, quite a bit. Like, you'll keep having, like, you'll keep jumping awake like night terrors or whatnot. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to push up north here. Um, and kind of just see what we're working with with zombies. See how uh, dire the situation is. I said it might be a multi-stage thing where we got to fight. Let's see how many we can get to come out here. One. There's definitely zombies across the water. Oh, there we go, Sway. Man, that spear was a piece of shit. Go straight Morgan on him. I don't. Oh, there's a lot of zombies across the water. All right, here we go. Now, the cool thing about the quarter staff is, um, the range, guys. You just don't, zombies don't have to get anywhere near you. I just don't know where, where this building was. Go 
Those zombies are standing on the water. Those are Jesus zombies. Okay, I think the building may be up there. Down that path. Oh, okay, so... That right there is something we're gonna have to, like, you know, pick apart slow... Up. Okay, so there's that building. We just gotta make it to that path. So, just... A couple zombies here and there. Let's try to grab them up. Uh, looks like we got four, which is kind of no bueno. Especially if people come up behind me. Like that, right there. That's, that's what we got to be careful about. Take our time. There's no reason to rush right now. Okay, now we've got that right click thing happening again. Right, I don't like how spread out they are. Oh, be careful, be careful. That shit is so annoying. Lorenzo, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. Hey, guys, let's get some hearts in the chat for Lorenzo, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, the weapon isn't that great, but, uh, it, you know, it's it's going to hopefully get the job done. It's better than these damn spears I was making. The spears, like I said, the spears are awesome because they have that, that one-hit potential. But right now, the spears I'm crafting are lasting, like, three hits. Come on, baby. More damage would be awesome. Lorenzo, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really like the reach that this weapon has. Um, wait, hold on. Okay. So even if this takes us a couple of days, um, so we just gotta slowly just pick away at these guys. Level two. Awesome, we got one knockdown. Got the zombie standing on top of the other zombie so he won't get up. Is that a kitchen knife? Oh, that's a butterfly knife. Oh, we can get some stealth kills with that. Actually, we might be able to pull one of those off right now.
Why didn't I get the kill? My hand was raised. I don't know why I didn't get the kill. Alright. So all those zombies, like I said, they, they're, they're stuck on the water. Alright, so we're gonna all right, so we got a couple more we'll deal with. Oh nice, got a knockdown, got another knockdown. No, come on. Man, this weapon is kind of freaky. But hey. I, uh, so we got quite a few coming. Casper, I'm trying, dude. Some shit though, if we get all the way in here, guys, and don't even get any goods. The zombies don't have shit on them. Yeah, I mean, I used this quarter staff uh, when I, I I used the quarter staff when I took uh, redstone, and um, it, it was pretty disgusting how awesome it was. I could definitely feel like this thing doesn't do anything. But I get it, you know what I mean? A weapon that is crafted from a tree branch. You know, you can't make it too good. Oh, three, four, ooh. Okay, okay. Get space. You know what, let me uh, actually swap to the spear. See if we can get any instants. See, see what I'm saying, guys? That damn right click. Liking it. Uh, let's swap back. Oh, 
quarter staff broke what? All right. That thing was way more durable the first time I used it. I right, got an instant. back up and see what else we have left. Should be one more over here somewhere. Problem is this weapon uh, doesn't have much durability left. Yeah, it's true, Guru. I don't even know if I have any fences around me though. Looks like a hunting knife. Yes. Another well. Reek. No, 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 no,
Damn. I wasn't. Feels real bad. Feels bad. Yeah, yeah. We'll s All right, so we're going to go. Um I want to pick a random trait or a random skill. Only one we're not going to pick is burglar. Huh? What? Uh. Yeah, I should have just jumped through the, the window, man. Honestly. It... Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I was worried about cutting myself open really bad with the glass. Because I know you can literally, like, get really... Re but it would have been better than guaranteed death by staying in there. But I thought it was only the two zombies. So I was like, oh, I can deal with... And then it just... They just swarmed in. Fisherman. Doctor. Yeah, I got the boat mod. All right, let's let's think. We're gonna go with. A Burger King employee. All right, so we'll go Burger Flipper. All right. Let me uh, remove all the traits. We're gonna we're gonna build. All right. So we're gonna go with a burger flipper. All right. Just a regular dude works at a fast food restaurant. That's it. All right. Um. Let's think. Bad skills. Um, because he's constantly working around, you know, unhealthy food. He's uh overweight. Um We'll go with smoker. Likes to stand out back, take a smoke break, you know how it is. Um Whose dream is to be a fisherman? All right, so what we can do is burger. It, it, we'll have an angler. All right, so Burger King employee who likes to go fishing on the weekends with his buddies. All right, so angler. Let's see. Um, we'll say he's got thin skin. You know, he's not. He's not the. He's a slow healer. Um, we'll say he's unlucky. He just is one of them guys that just never has a good day. Uh, we'll say he's prone to illness. Got a weak stomach. Uh, he's a slow reader. Alright, I like that. Just, uh, you know, he's just... Alright, so... Like I said, he, he's, he's... He works at, you know, a burger joint. 
flips burgers, hates his job, likes to go fishing on the weekend with his buddies. Um, we'll say he's a he's a big guy. Let's no, because we'll say he's we'll give him. Uh, let, let me see. Keen hearing. Uh, we'll say he's strong. He's 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 like one of the the big strong guy. You know what I mean? Jensen, hey, you're right, dude. You can't work at a fast food joint and have a weak stomach. So true. So true. Dickie and Jensen had it. They got it figured out right there. Uh, cat eyes for viewers. That's a very good point. Uh, set, give him outdoors, man. He likes to be outside fishing with his buddies. Um, say as uh, eagle eyes. Good hearing. Got six points, guys. And I'm thinking about going with... Go with Hiker. All right. He, he, he has the dreams of being in like an... He watches a bunch of survival... He watched a bunch of survival channels on YouTube. You know what I mean? He wanted to learn how to live out in the outdoors. So he's good at... For, you know, he learned a little bit about foraging and trapping. And he's, you know, wanted to be a fisherman. We'll go with all that. I don't think this is a bad survivor, right? All right, so I'm liking it. All right. But who are we going to label this with, guys? Who's who's get who which one of you guys are getting this? I just killed Kasparov. So who wants to plaster their name? First person to say it, I'm gonna give it to him. If you haven't already got one. Save this free. Hey, hold on, give me a sec, guys.
Oh, Luna, Luna, and Luna. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I seen Luna hit us with the uh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna name this uh, Fisher Boy. Just like that, Fisher Boy. All right, so who's getting this? Luna's getting it, or was it? Or was it Guru? Again, Luna, I appreciate that super chat, dude. All right, so let's see. You know I gotta do chest hair. Well, you know, maybe we won't do chest hair for luck. You know what I mean? Maybe the chest hair is, um, maybe the chest hair is the unlucky bit. All right, Luna's got, Luna, Luna's got the claim. He claimed it with a super chat, guys. There we go. Make sure I spell this right. All right, Luna, I'm going to make you look awesome. Are you ready for this? Luna, one question. Long hair or short hair? Beard or no beard? Answer that while I pick your uh, clothes. All right, so we're going to go with... Um, it's going to be cold out. So we're gonna just kind of pack on the uh, the clothing here. Oh, I don't want to cover up the Spiffos T-shirt though. That's like his claim to fast food. You know what I mean? <laughs> Casper says I'm. <laughs> so we'll keep the Spiffos T-shirt on. Jeans, yeah, go with jeans, um, go with some long socks, sneakers. Mullet in it, oh, okay, well, you know, our last, our first mullet survived a long, long time. Oh, oh, yes. I'm already, I'm already liking it. I'm, the mullet just, it's, I'm telling you guys. Oh, should we go full Eugene? I'm thinking we should go full Eugene. Carol, see, I can't, I can't do a run with, as Crystal as a character because every time I make Crystal and she dies, she, she, she takes it personal. I'm thinking full Eugene. I'm I love it. I love it. This is it. All right. Here we are. Um, in Bedford Falls somewhere. I have no clue where. So let's uh take a little stroll around the house. Close up these curtains. So already I'm liking this house. It's got a lot of space. I'm not liking all the windows though. Huge kitchen. This is good for us. Rolling pin, decent starter weapon. Start with a can opener, bowl. 
No goodies in the fridge. Matches. Box of garbage bags. Wait, so let's just open that. Uh, actually, how much do these hold? Those hold eight. Yeah, we need to open this. So we're gonna take one of the garbage bags out. Um, equipment secondary. Put the rest of them in there. All right, I'm already liking this. Yeah, I'm already liking this. Uh, ton of loot. Yeah. I'm pretty sure with at this level of difficulty, we're probably going to make it around quite a bit. A tote bag's pretty good, too. Um, this holds 20 with a weight reduction of what, though? Only a weight reduction of 10. This holds 12 with a weight reduction of 50. We'll see. We'll just throw the tote bag in there. We might carry two bags. No, nah, same same world. I uh, like right now we could go to where you died and find your body. But you know we need hot sauce. Uh we'll grab this pasta. Should actually just be grabbing all this. <laughs> Cause who knows? <sighs> Damn, Casper. You see all this food, man? Now all we need is a... Get out of here. There's no way. And we got bottles of water? So we'll grab one bottle of water. I'm trying to get a lay of the land. All right, so we got a ton of zombies around here. I don't know if staying in this house will be a good idea. Uh, just because there's so many windows. Wish there was a way I could take out those stairs. I mean, there is curtains up here. Enough curtains for us to really go down and, uh... Oh, Bedford is hard? Alright, so maybe we pick the bad spawn point. No, no, no.
All right, so what we're going to do is... Um, yeah, um, so for me to get out of here, to get out of Bedford Falls, um, what direction should I go to get back to the main map? Does anybody know? So I guess that will make that our, our, our mission then to get the hell out of here. Okay, so that way. All right. So then that will be our our mission then. Um the hell out of here. Check this car really quick. Check the glove box. Lighter hole. And a bandage. Another car down there. Alright, well we're not gonna be able to go to sleep anytime soon. So let's uh let's just start walking out of town. That bat, though. Yeah, this place is super packed. Cat eyes will help us in the dark. We got food, we got water. We don't have to stress too much about being out here in the woods. Um, if I could find a water source out here, I would totally camp out here and then make trips into the town, but. Seems pretty peaceful out here in the woods. So far, everything's good. Um, sipping on our water a little bit. We got a decent amount of food. We got fire, a uh, way to make fire. Can opener. That's yeah, really dark. 
But we got cat eyes, so it should make it a little more pleasant for you guys. It shouldn't get to that pitch black. All right, hold on. Let me try to do that. Uh, should we for it? No, no. Now, this is a lot of woods. Seems like it's opening up a little bit. Leor, what's up, dude? Yo, how long is this walk? I think mistakes are made, guys. One or two days? <gasps> A road. Now the question is, which way do we go? Um, maybe we'll head so south. But while we still are pretty clear, let's take a second and, um, let's eat a little bit of food. We'll eat this bag of chips. So we'll just keep it moving. We'll, we'll head down south here. I don't know where this road's going to take us. Go north? South is empty. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go empty, guy. <laughs> definitely. definitely we'll, we'll definitely go north. I'm um, thinking maybe we should do a little foraging. Really quick. Yeah. I have no clue what the hell any of this shit we're getting is. 
All right, got some tree branches. We already have level one uh, foraging, so um, Luna here is going to find stuff way easier than uh, Casper did. All right, starting to get a little tired, so what can we do with these? We can eat them? Hell yes, that's food. Um, what can we do with these? All right, so let's get rid of the fern leaves. Let's get rid of the gray clay. Um, we got a lot of tree branches. I'm really cool with that. Eat those. Make all these into branches. What can we do with these? So we got four tree branches right there. Ton of tree branches. Ton of tree branches. Way too many tree branches. Um, wow. So we'll just drop those on the ground, I guess. And, uh, we're still overweight. You know what we're going to do? Put from primary. Beautiful. How much more can this hold? Quite a bit, actually. Just trying to get as many of these tree branches as I can. Alright, that's enough. We'll be a little overweight, but that's fine. So, now we look like, you know, we just left the damn grocery store. Wonder if there's a, uh, you know what? How about we um uh as I say, how about we uh drop this rolling pin? Unless one of these garbage can we fit it in the garbage bag? All right, let's craft a quarter staff. That on our back. And. Yeah, it should be good. Boom. What's up, painkiller? Yeah. If it was like a belt weapon, I probably would have held on to it, but uh So we're getting really tired. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We need to find somewhere to Hunker down. Yep, 
need to find it. We need to find a spot. To take a nap. We're already down to half a bottle of water. I hope that I don't run into any like massive hordes on this road. Do you know what I mean? Babe, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you grab me uh, like one of those little Gatorades and one of them apple juices? So uh, we got a we got a turn up here. It won't let me sleep on the ground. Look, it just says sit on the ground. From Buenos Aires, how are you? Thank you. What flavor are these? Sounds delicious, actually. Berry lemonade. Yeah, the house didn't have a freaking cooking pot. That would have been so nice if we were able to get our hands on one of those. Oh, okay, so once you get tired enough, you can just sleep on the ground. All right, let's keep it moving. looking for mailboxes any sign railroad tracks um so now we can sleep on the ground so i'm wondering if we should do um seeing as this area is really really chill we might get sick, though, is the only thing I'm worried about. We might freeze to death. Let's, uh, let's take a little nap. So if we run into any zombies, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. All right. So that definitely helped a lot. Took a little nap over there in the trees. Oh, uh, you just used the keyboard. W-A-S-D. You can sprint, you can, yep. Yeah. But if you want to, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played RuneScape, but you can click, walk, um. All right, so for those of you guys who weren't in the, um, in the beginning of the stream, I opened up my merch store today through, uh, YouTube. Um, it's not on the YouTube yet, so at the bottom of the video, you won't see the, the merch yet. But um, I have down in the description below, um, if you guys want to click that, you can go to the merch store. Right now, we got our channel logo um, clothing up, and we have Boot Gang uh, merch up right now. So uh, it's just the beginning. It, it's really awesome that I was able to get that. All right, so we're coming up to a four-way intersection here. I'm wondering if we should... Uh, Check out one of these turns. Maybe we'll go left. Or should we keep going straight? I have no clue where I am, guys, so... We'll just say we'll go this way. Man, we're getting tired again already. Keep going straight.
Alright. Starting to see some zombies. Alright, uh, let's drop the goods here. Let's see, um... Grab another one of these. Let's, uh, eat. Another quarter staff. All right, so we got two weapons. Uh, got two zombies, so should be all right. Uh, let's wear this jacket. Trying to just get a little bit of warmth on us. This really isn't so much for protection as it is for the just... Oh. Um, okay, maybe we don't have to go here, though. Maybe we could just grab them one at a time. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I'm using Hydrocraft, and Hydrocraft, I think, is what allowed me to get the quarterstaff. Darla said if you uh if if you get uh one of my merch shirts it makes you immune to ferals in state of K2. <laughs> so true. I go back to work tomorrow. I was supposed to go back today, but I uh, took the day. We had some stuff we had to take care of that I wasn't able to get done yesterday, so So, I mean, there's, like, quite a few zombies over here. I don't know if I really have to go that way, though. Or can I just keep going this way? Oh, there's zombies that way, too. All right, well, let's just, let's just see if we can keep picking away with these guys. So, if we just get them one or two at a time... Starting to get tired, so we're not doing like any damage. Might take one more. Might have to go sleep on the ground again. Sean, happy birthday, dude!
Right, so we can't sleep yet anyways. Let's see if we can get... Perfect. I feel like I'm like doing like World of Warcraft level with like dungeon aggro where you don't want to aggro the whole pack, you're just trying to pull mobs off the pack. Jetty, thank you so much. Yeah, I was I was really excited to get that set up today for you guys. Oh, sleeping here in our in our uh our new, <laughs> our mansion. So this is gonna be a slow process, guys. You gotta really take your time when you're playing on these high difficulties. We want Luna to live a little bit. I thought Casper was it. Shit, what is that place? Okay, yeah, so I'm liking the way I'm like I'm liking the looks of this. Um let's start pulling again. Got two this time. That sucks. So this one is way faster than the other, so should be all right. Oh, yes. Let's wear that. Wear this. Take that. Could always use empty bottles. I know, my bad, Casper, dude. But you did really well, man. Like, we were, we were doing it. I definitely want to take that hoodie. Uh, this is definitely warmer. All right, so we are getting super, super tired. It's starting to get a little laid out. It's good. I think there was a chair in here, so we might better just sleep in here. Place phasmophobia. I can't play no fast. I, I I would, but I can't play it tonight. Only because we don't have enough time to uh 
I wanted to do this and then uh, maybe a little bit of SOD and then I gotta go to bed. Got work in the morning. And the VR is so much work. It's a setup. So we got a little bit of sleep. I still think Visage is scarier than Phasmophobia. Even that game we played last night. Oh yeah, look at we're freaking like a powerhouse now after we took out that last oh, oh yeah, we're not messing with that though. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the entrance is too busy. Yeah, Sean, we might do, jump on and do another multiplayer uh, Phasmophobia night. It's definitely a lot of fun, man. All right, uh, this is gonna be a little work. Yeah. How many shoulders we need? Let's see if I can get one. I got two. We got two. Watch. Make sure it has no alarm. So it's six o'clock in the morning. Not bad. What's up, Lou? Three. Well, what is that? That looks like some cool ass weapon. Awesome, we got the kill. Knockdown. Got another knockdown. That worked out just perfect. All right, let's see what the hell this weapon is. Scrap machete? Sign me up. So this is a scrap machete. Oh, this has to be good. Got one, two, all right, we got two. Ah, 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly. Uh, God only knows how many zombies are in here, though. One, two, three, four, five. These six or set. Oh, there's quite a few. Got one, I think. Man, there's a lot of zombies in this place. We just gotta take our time. That, that's all we gotta do is take our time. Oh, this is a police officer. That looks like a gun. Night stick. Uh, Smith and Weston with a magazine and bullets, guys. Holy crap. Definitely going to swap to the police trooper hat. The Stetson. Now we look like a freaking Marine Corps drill instructor. So we were to get our hands on a uh, handgun. I'm not going to shoot it, obviously, uh, without a suppressor, but uh, if we can get our hands on some duct tape. I don't know if they fixed the suppressors yet, but um, take care of these. Mm. Oh, we'll be all right. All right, got another one. Did you? That did you watch on? Ah, uh, damn, that's too many. It's all good. It's all good though. Uh, we'll go with the faster attacking weapon. Hope we get some uh, faster kills. Butter knife. Okay, so we're starting to get a little hungry. Uh, let me deal with these two down here. Wow, one hit, nice. I plan on doing a little bit of SOD2 tonight. I wanted to actually do... I posted it in Discord. Um, I named it... Uh, State of the K2. Hashtag. Pro player. Versus Dread Zone. Because um, I was pretty curious on to see how good I... Or how I would do in Dread Zone. Oh, okay. Got him. All right, so let's uh, let's see what is our water looking like. Getting pretty low. Let's uh, head back to our bags really quick. 
Uh, you know what? Let's let's just finish this place out. A Styler, Emma, how are you? What? We know where those are. We don't really need to grab those right now. Master Peps, how are you? Um, this game is not available on mobile. That would be super awesome, but um, it's only on Steam right now. Okay. Um. The nightstick is insane. So we're gonna bring this back to the shed. Probably bring them uh, bolts back too. Last zombie? All right, let's see what this place is about loot wise. <clears throat> we got a sack, indoor gardening. <clears throat> uh, nothing really that great. Sigs, awesome. We don't have mat matches on us right now. Another sack. There we go. All oh, this is that. That's such good loot, guys. Screwdriver matches lighter. <laughs> or uh, cigarette lighter and a screwdriver. Uh, a fire extinguisher. Check these crates back here. So as you guys know, I have all loot in the game on extremely rare. So finding anything is uh, quite a challenge. Let's head upstairs, see if there's anything up there. Two grenades only. Well, depending on how easy Dread Zone was, I was going to uh, I was gonna maybe do um, like melee. All right. Well. This building is empty. Um, I was hoping that there would be like bathrooms of some sort or some sinks or anything. Um, and that is not in here. So that's slightly unfortunate. Oh, wait, there's sinks right here. What the hell am I talking about? Oof, that would have been a huge oversight. Propane torch, nice. So uh, fill our water bottle. And we'll fill our other bottle. So we're actually good on SIGs now for a while. All right, so we have water, we got food. Should we camp out in this place? There's nowhere to sleep, though. Could... 
grab one of these chairs and maybe bring it upstairs. This place is huge, Anzirk. I don't know, I was thinking about uh, staying in here, but now I'm starting to think that the other little shed is better. Hey, Guru, thank you for hopping in, man. Uh, we'll probably do Zomboid for another, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Just want to get decently established, and then... So, like I said, I got to go to I gotta go to bed uh, decently early tonight. Uh, just because I got to wake up and be to work tomorrow. And it never feels good, guys, to drive tired. Alright, so we got another zombie that showed up. Two zombies that showed up. They're all near our, our, our little... Ooh, a lot of zombies that showed up. Right, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. They're right in front of our little base camp. Too easy. All right, how are we looking around the our, our little base camp here? Might check this parking lot. Um, see if there's any cars or anything in it. But for now, I think our bags are way over there. Yep, our bags are over there. Uh, so Master Peps, this game does not have an ending. Like, there's no way to like beat it. It's mainly just you just try to survive as long as you possibly can, um, doing uh, all different types of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you can live however you want, and then it's multiplayer. Right now it's not multiplayer, but you can't. It, it will be multiplayer. Um, so there's a lot, a lot to this game, man. Yeah, it's 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 really really great. So you know what? Um, let me see. Can we fit any of this? Let's grab these bags. Let's just grab both of them. Bring them down near our little base. Short blade is new meta. Gaunt, I've seen people using short blade, and oh man, it looks so awesome. Like when you get the the jaw stabs, um, I would have to learn how to master that though, for sure. I would love to use that. All right, so let's just drop both these on the ground right here. Sorry, this is our storage, guys. All right, let's see. Uh, can we fit anything else in this tote bag? Not really. Fit point three. 
so that's broke. All right, garbage bag. Uh, that. Put a gun in there, so I don't plan on using that anytime soon. And it's just extra weight on us right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is head out and see if we can do some foraging out here in these uh, whoa, in these uh, woods. If you collect and wear an entire special uniform and cook at every special location, you unlock a, the secret ending. Lies, dude. I got we be uh, we will be working on some we beat the game merch. Here we go. All right, so I feel like we're doing pretty good. We have a little bit of water in this location. Not a whole bunch, but it's better than nothing. Getting a lot of crap right now. Some fresh clover. Wow, look how much that feeds, guys. Some chestnuts. I don't know what the hell half of this shit is. But we're pretty much gonna be like eating like some rabbits. And not actual rabbits, we're gonna be eating like rabbits. <laughs> Um, there is a lot of mods, uh, Master Peps, that uh, add a lot of stuff to the game, like missions um, and stuff like that. There is a ton of things you can do in this game, man. Almost, it's almost endless, the possibilities for this game. All right, so we got a lot of fresh clovers. So what can we do with these? Uh, we need a hammer. We can crack those. Can I craft a stone hammer? Yep. Let's uh, crack these chestnuts. Um, dangerous, uncooked. <laughs> hey, <you motherfucker>! <laughs> <laughs> GG, Dracos. Drasco comes into PZ. Hey, I'm excited, man. So we can make branches out of these. Drop those. We got some hickory nuts. What can we do with these? Crack all of those. So we got a bunch of nuts, but it says that they're dangerous uncooked. Um, which kind of stinks. Uh, which means we need to make a fire. But in order to make a fire, I need some logs. So let's craft a couple stone axes. Let me get a tree cut down, baby. Boom. Make campfire kit. Oof. 
There we go. Alright, so the plan is, guys, we need to find water. <clears throat> A hoodie with my scared face? <laughs> I got, I got the swap mod. All right, let's go, uh, grab out another garbage bag, load up our extra stuff into it. So pretty much our inventory <laughs> management's all right here. All right, let me see. We're here. We we'll grab out one. Boom. We got plenty of space. Let's throw these in there. Throw that in there. These, these nuts are going to come in super handy. I'm going to keep these twigs on me for right now. Drop that. Drop that. All right, so we're going to do our campfire right here. Reaction videos. Like, like, uh, so what would... All right, so quick question. What would you like to see me, like react to i guess if, if your your ideal situation of watching me uh react to stuff what, what kind of stuff would you like to see me react to um because i've thought about doing a couple trailers like there's some game trailers coming out um that i haven't seen yet that i've been holding off on uh let's add all these tree branches All right, let's light a fire using twig and lighter. Right, and then let's, uh, let's throw these nuts out here, get those cooking. I don't know how fast they cook, so we gotta watch out. Eat a clover. Of me and Crystal? That's a good idea. So I got those cooked. Oh, no, those cooked. Alright, so we, we got our nuts cooked up. Is there anything else I need to cook at the moment? Let's see it. All right, we're good. Yeah, so the day before, I have not watched that trailer specifically because I wanted to watch it with you guys. Um, I wasn't going to watch it on stream necessarily, but I was going to watch it on... Uh, I was going to make a video of me checking it out, but if that's something that you guys want to, you know real time me break down and you guys ask questions like real time and we can really go through the uh that uh you know just go through the trailer and really just dig into it together i mean i, I figure that could probably be kind of cool all right that bag is full this bag has a little bit of space all right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let me throw this holster in there. We don't need to wear that right now. All right, let's uh Yeah, let's uh I want to poke uh I don't I don't, don't want to take any risks. I kind of want to see if there's another one of these. Oh, yeah, Samuel. Yeah, he's good to go. 
He's good to go. I brought him to the dump the other day, and um, we were, uh, you know, throwing out a bunch of, like, we were doing some spring cleaning in the house, so we just had a bunch of extra stuff and uh, a lot of, like, glass and, you know, old pictures and mirrors and things like that. And uh, I brought him with me to throw everything out, and he was having a blast. Oh, there, there is another one. There's a couple of them. There's actually one down there, too. But um, he was just destroying everything, and, like, you know, I, I get it. You know what I mean? When I was a kid, like, that, I, I used to love doing that shit, too. You know what I mean? Like, just breaking shit. But he just has to know... You know, it, it's okay to, you know, mess around and break stuff, but you got to, like, don't go break in, like, nice things. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting tired, so fighting these zombies is going to be really, really ineffective. What new beta test, Dracos? I didn't even I I didn't watch their live stream today, so but I'm already signed up. I'm already a beta tester, so I don't know if I have to like sign up again. Um, right, let me see here. Yeah, because I'm still part of the beta um, team here right now. Let me see. Uh, just... So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got to find out is if. Painkiller, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, I already signed the NDA for the Lethal Zone beta test back when Lethal Zone came out. I uh, I was already a uh, NDA beta, beta tester. I already signed my NDA, so I don't know if I have to like do another one. I don't because I'm still I'm I'm on their I'm on Undead Labs uh, beta stuff right now, and I already have all my I'm still like there, so I don't know if I'd have to like redo it or whatever. I'll I'll find out tomorrow. I'll probably ask some questions or something like that. Reach out to one of the devs. But is it going to be another Steam beta? Because that's how they did it last time. It, it was just on Steam. All right, let's grab that good sleep. Here we go. Well, the thing was is, okay, yeah, if it's on Steam, I'm already a Steam beta tester, yeah. Um, I already did my NDA for that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could, did they say, it, did it go live yet? Oh, it's an open beta. Is 
is it live right now or is it coming out? All right, so let's let's oh, let's see, we get to talking, guys. Now the zombies are gonna get to walking. Did they say when it was gonna be available? Cause I mean, if it's no NDA, I'll live stream that shit. <laughs> Stick is so disgusting, guys. Oh, that was close. <laughs> See what happens when I get that. Oh, oh. Oh, it's NDA? Wait, so is it NDA or not NDA? Is it an open beta or a closed beta? All right, so we're going to be here for a little while. Hold on, I'm not gonna read chat just because I don't want to get murked. Oh, yeah, I, I oh, trust me, Dracos, before I ever, ever, uh, did some shit like that. I'm definitely reaching out to them. Um, yeah, because I would never want to lose my beta tester. Um, because from what I was told that if you're an SOD2 beta tester right now, um, I can eventually maybe beta test for SOD3 too. So, because I'm, I'm just an undead labs beta tester. It's not like state of K2 specific. At least that's what the NDA stated. So for me, it's like, I would never want to mess that up. That's why uh, back when I was doing Lethal Zone, guys, uh, beta testing, if you remember that time, I never, I didn't even talk about anything at all. Like, even the stuff they were talking about in their streams that was okay to talk about, I still didn't. I was like, I ain't risking it. All right. This guy has two guns. All right, so we got what? Uh, Model A70. Oh, man. That pistol is actually one that Darla had. Did it have a mag, too? And it has a mag. So, I mean, they're not the greatest guns in the world, but, um, you know what I mean? We got a shoddy, which has, what, five shells, um, 14 bullets in that gun, and I believe the other gun we had also has 12 bullets. So, we're not doing bad, guys. We're really not, gun-wise. All right, so let's eat. He had a double holster? Oh, let me go back and check. Yeah, we've made out pretty good. That's three guns. Um, and they've just been from police officers, zombies. Yep, definitely has a double holster. I'm definitely grabbing that. I 
Make sure we don't bite off more than we can chew. <laughs> Goodbye, sweetie. Uh, double holster. Where are you? There you are. Grab an extra pair of shoes. You know how it, you know how it gets, guys. The amount of walking we're doing. So we just got to be careful though, because our nightstick is about half. All three of these guys are pretty fast. Knocked one down, killed one, knocked the other one. Oh, we got a glass shiv. Pack of unknown seeds, of course. Painkiller, dude. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We found the AA. The AA-12 with you, Casper. Painkiller, I really appreciate that, man. Gracie! Walk too high, heavy right there. Night sticks get pretty banged up. So we dispatched that pretty big horde. I, I would say I did. I, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Come on, boy. Alright, so zombie wise, got what, three, I see three, up oh, four, I got one coming up behind me, let's uh, head out, make space. So I'm getting, I'm, I just learned about the push, guys. Like, I knew you could push zombies, but I, I didn't know that, like, the two separate buttons, like, it, so my combat's gonna be probably a little, a little cleaner from this point forward. Got another one coming.
Well, that's a really good condition hoodie, actually. Break. Actually, I can break this into a spear, right? Can't you? No. You can't. Tent peg. Swimming. So this is the magazine that allows you to uh, swim in the water. Yeah, I know, right, Kaz? Casper's never gonna let me live it down. Oh, that's good. Um, I'll just leave him there for now. I don't really, I don't need them yet, but uh, hot glue gun. What is this? Um, oh, so this allows me to craft bolt stuff. I like that. And we have another uh, water. A little bit of water here. What is our water looking like? One and a half bottles. Oh, there's ammo in here. Two, two, three. We don't need two, two, three right now. I wonder if the starter fluid can be used to make a fire. I've never played Dead Rising. I played the first one like back when it first came out like forever ago. Um, but I haven't played it ever since. I'm pretty sure I checked this. Wasn't. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, Siggies. All right. Well, that's progress. So we'll head back to our little base camp and uh, we'll probably end the episode here. Uh, so, why did it change Luna's name to Verning, Vernon Lord, by the way? <laughs> um, but we all know it's Luna. Um, we are 95 pounds and going down. Um, we have killed 79 zombies, guys. 79 zombies. And our skills are coming along. We're working on level 3's foraging. I'm going to start looking into what it's going to take to craft a... Uh, what it's going to take to craft a... Um, whatchamacallit? A crossbow? Let's actually see if we can... I don't need to carry 200 cigarettes on me. Grab, uh... One pack. Alright, let me see. Um... Take this double holster off. I don't need to carry this either. Oh, we didn't check upstairs, did... Of course I didn't. Let me see what it takes to craft a crossbow. Or if I even have what it takes to craft a crossbow.
Yeah, so I can't even uh, craft a crossbow yet. So we can upgrade a 2x4 with a can, which that looks awesome. So all we need is an empty tin can. So once we eat uh, some of our, our food items there, we need some rip sheets and an empty tin can. Yeah, I got to read the, I got to find those little books or whatever. Um, that allowed me to craft the crossbows. Where the hell did I just put those other books? Let me read these. Now those will be uh, fire starting equipment. Um, what time is it? Six. All right, let me get a couple minutes, guys. Let's go uh, do a little forging really quick. Yeah, I'm playing with mods. I got them linked down in the description. Uh, all the mods that we are using currently. Uh, the clover is great, guys. When you find the clover, oh, it's so good. Got more chestnuts, more stones. Some more nuts. So we're getting thirsty. For some reason, I took all of my water off. That's okay. Let's just finish foraging. But because um, Luna's foraging is higher level... Um, the quality of stuff that he's finding is so much better than what Casper had. Like if Casper was finding this kind of food, we would never have been hard pressed to leave like we were. Like it's to the point where I don't even need to keep this bark and shit or grass. I don't need to keep that. What is this used for? Make branches out of this. That's what I like to see. So yeah, I mean, we're like easy mode surviving now. 
The only thing that we need to figure out is water. That is for damn sure. Um, the only thing I could think of maybe trying to set up is like a rain collector. So we're lo we're looking good, guys. We are definitely looking good. I might move these bodies. Um. Next episode, because you know having that many dead zombies around is not good. But yes, what do we need? A screwdriver, and we can take this thing apart. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this, seriously, and. Uh, yeah, give me about, uh, you know, five or so minutes and I'm going to drop the stream down and we'll get the next one up and running. Uh, so I'll, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate the love and support that you guys constantly show me. If you guys are interested, like I said, um, channel merch is up. Click down in the uh, description. Go check it out. You don't got to buy anything. Just at least look at it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys here in a couple minutes. Peace.